Alright guys, what's up? And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a 3D intro in Cinema 4D. Now, if you guys don't know how to make the 3D text, I will have a link in the description or an annotation um, to show you guys how to make it. Um, I do have a video on it. So, uh, yeah. So, after you've watched that, um, come back to this video and I'll show you how to make the 3D text. So, for you guys that know how to do it already, here we go. So now, uh, what you're going to do first to make the intro after you have your uh, 3D text here, you're going to go to uh, the little square up here, and you're going to hit plane. And as you can see, there's a little plane under your text here. And for the width, we're going to just type in bunch of nines and hit enter. And for the height, you're going to do the same exact thing, just so that it's pretty much infinite. Um, infinite space so there you go as you can see it's pretty much infinite space um, as long as we're looking kind of down at the text um, you won't see just black in the outside so there you go after that um, now that you have your floor what you're gonna do is you're going to make a light so that you can see um, shadows and everything like that which makes the intros look a lot better makes it look like they're in their own world almost so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the light up here and you're just gonna click on light and as you can see everything went dark because the light isn't in a good position but after that you're gonna just uh, drag the light out to here and move it up a little now um, I think the light is centered around here a little bit too much I'm gonna center it around the text a little bit more and then I'm going to use the rotation tool to kind of rotate it down um, towards the text a little more. Just like that. And there we go. I think that's good. Um, now, this will take a little bit of time to render this out real quick, but I'll just speed it up. Okay, um, never mind. That took really fast. So as you can see, it's got the light, and um, the light's a little bit over here too much, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the move tool, select the light, and move it over here a little bit more, and render this out real quick. Oh uh, yeah, I think that's good. That's right on it. Um, so yeah, now... This is what's going to be the thing that's going to be a pain to render. What you're going to do here is, um, the whole point of the light is pretty much foreshadow. So, I mean, if you don't want any shadow or anything like that, then there is something else. But I think shadows are pretty much uh, the best thing to go with. It makes it makes the uh, intro look a lot better. So, under the light, you're just going to make sure you have the light selected. Um, and under shadow you're gonna click drop down and hit area now this is gonna be a little bit more time to render so I'll just speed this up real quick and um, here we go now it's fully rendered and as you can see there's um there are shadows and yeah it just looks a lot better so um Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to be making the intro. We're going to be making the um, the uh, camera angles and everything like that. Now, obviously, in this tutorial, it's just a tutorial to get you into it. So, it's not going to be all pro and everything. It's going to be really simple, uh, simple camera movements and everything like that. So, what you're going to do here is you're going to go back to the lighting and select camera. Now, I have no idea why the camera is in the lighting but whatever um, so yeah, after that what you want to do here is as you can see if you scroll back you're actually moving the camera with the little movement tool and we do not want that we want to go to cameras scene cameras and click on camera and now the camera is actually activated so now whatever we see here is what the camera sees so if we move around like uh, this now the camera's moving around as you can see the camera's not in front of us anymore we are the camera so yeah that's what you want it's a lot easier than moving the camera physically around so 
After that, you're gonna want to get yourself into the position of your first movement. So I'm actually gonna zoom in a little bit behind the text, and um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna zoom out um, as my first movement. So what you're gonna do here is after you have your first little thing set up, you're going to go down here and change this to about 500. Um, now I know you're probably not going to be using 500, but just to make sure it's not going to hurt, just make it 500. Um, so yeah. Now after that, you're going to go to around 50, or no, my bad, keep it at zero. And you're going to click on this little, um, red circular thing in the middle. Um, that is actually an automatic keyframing, um, so now... If you, now that I have that selected, if I go to any point in the timeline and move the camera or anything, it automatically keyframes it for me, so I don't have to do it every time. So, yeah. After that, you're gonna move the bar in the timeline to about 50, and you're going to zoom out and do whatever you want with the camera. So, what I want to do is I'm probably gonna just zoom out real quick and uh, get kind of a little perspective view over it kind of to the side a little bit like this and after that I'm probably going to go um, 50 more up to about a hundred and actually I'm going to probably zoom in uh, go right over here zoom in some more up a little more and then completely turn around uh, as you can see I need to back up a little bit and back up a little bit some more and there we go I think that's good right there and then after that um, just to finish it off kinda you're gonna go to about 130 probably and you're going to move the camera um, I'm just gonna move it right in the right in the front of tutorial or the text whatever you have written on your text and just move it around up into the front of it and then maybe just to kind of um, just to kind of finish this off I'm going to go to about 145 and zoom in completely uh, through the zero through the whole text um, now uh, what you kind of want to do is probably get it in the hole of the zero. Um, that would probably look the coolest and zoom it right there. Um, so now you're pretty much done with the um, cinematic effects which is pretty much the whole intro part. So I'm just going to play this back for you guys real quick. Um, as you can see it zooms out. Now that will do that as I'm playing. but. Um, obviously when you render it out it'll be fine so keeps going goes over here goes back and zooms in through the little circle so yeah guys um, not very good uh, obviously because it's just a little tutorial um, I didn't want to go that into depth because it's actually kind of a little beginner tutorial so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys, um, hope you enjoyed, if you have any questions or comments just uh, leave them in the comments below or PM me on YouTube. So thanks for watching guys, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Peace guys.